hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm ashley and i like books so today i'm going to talk about six authors that no matter what they release i don't need to know what it's about i'm gonna buy it they are my auto buy authors they are my favorite i love basically almost everything that i read by them so let's get started okay so the first author that i'm going to talk about is shay earnshaw she has three young adult and one adult book out i believe i've read all four of those uh wicked date was the first one i read by her um her books are just amazing they all have such a creepy atmosphere surrounding them there's like always an air of mystery with them you never really know what's going on until like the end and then you see the whole picture and you're like this makes so much sense it's her writing is just so beautiful i get sucked into the story i get sucked into the characters usually i end up finishing them in like one or two sittings it's just they're addicting creepy mysterious books and they all at least the first the three young adult i know like are fantasy the adult one isn't really fan it's more like just mystery type book but they're just they're addicting the next author that I'm going to talk about is V.E. Schwab. Um, I've read a lot of uh, books that they've written. Um, I'm trying to think. I've read Darker Shade of Magic Trilogy. I've read the first of The Savage Song. I have to still get the second one. I've read The Near Witch. Um, I haven't read Gallon yet. That's another one i got to read. And Vicious and Vengeful. Um, so I still have a lot a lot to buy from this author and read and i'm so excited but i also don't want to read them at the same time because i don't want it to end <sighs> these books this author just writes such amazing stories with such an amazing cast of characters um the characters in dark shade and magic are my absolute favorite they are just so witty so entertaining the stories are just uh, like shay and shaw they're just addicting her fantasy series are absolutely amazing. She creates such complex characters and I just need to read everything, everything that this author has written. I just, I love it. This one is also signed and personalized because I saw her at the last book con that was held. So everyone needs to read this series if you haven't read it already. A new one's coming out like in a continuation of this. So I'm really excited for that. Next, we have Laura Sebastian. She writes young adult and adult. Um, I've read almost all of her young adult books. Um, she has a adult King Arthur retelling, but it focuses more on like the Lady of the Lake, which is really, really good. It was really interesting. That one is very character heavy and it focuses on the character development and it was just seeing how they change and evolve throughout that novel was beautiful. This series is one of my all-time favorite series. I actually have an arc of this one, and it's one of my favorite arcs that I've ever received. Um, her characters, characters in the young adult series too, are just so complex, and they go through so much and are so strong regardless of it. And her stories are just addicting. I know, know in the series at the end of book two, like a crazy thing happens that I never saw coming, and I almost threw the book across the room. I was in shock and then I had to wait the next year until the next book came out and I was like dying waiting but her books are addicting she also has another young adult series and I'm completely spacing on the name but it's very more like political intrigue heavy and the end of that one also threw me for a loop and I cried I still have to get a sequel of that one but they changed the covers like they you know what let me get the cover of that one Okay, here's the other series, Castles in Their Bones. It's a nice, beautiful cover with an illustrated girl on it. And they changed it so you just see her face in a weird star. And that's how the second one is too. And I don't like it. Like, these are so much prettier to me. I don't like the whole star. It just looks cheesy and cheap. Am I still going to buy it? Yes, but I'm going to try to track down the UK edition because the UK edition is still just the full body of her and it's not like just the face in a star um but yeah this series is a little bit of a tonker but this was absolutely amazing addicting complex characters so so good highly recommend 
The next author that is an auto by author is Rachel Griffin. She has two books out and has another book coming out in August, I believe. Do I know what the next book out is about? No, I have absolutely no idea. I just know that she writes incredible fantasy stories that like kind of surround themselves around nature and nature always plays such a key part in it and that's part of why I love her books so so much. This is Nature of the Witches. She has another witch book. Um, both of them, the witches, rely very heavily on nature and it, there's always like some sort of animal, animal companion and it's just... <laughs> I love her writing so much and it's just a very calm peaceful read while also you're like what the hell's going on I need to know um and also all of her books if you got like the first printing of it they all are like pretty underneath the dust jacket and that's why like I need to buy the new book right away because I want all the pretty hardback editions of it but um if you haven't read any of Rachel Griffin's books I really suggest that you do especially if you like witches that are more in tune with nature than a lot of other witch books that you'll read Okay, the next two authors are pretty common, well-known authors, but they are on this list, so I have to talk about them. First one is Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is the first book in the Wicked trilogy, uh, which is like a Fae series that she has, and it's one of my favorites. I actually wanted to reread it this soon. So, JLA. Her books are by no means literary masterpieces. They are just addicting and fun. Like, if I'm in a slump, I'm picking up a JLA book because I know that... I can be relaxed, I can find comfort in the characters and the plot, while also they're just tearing my heart apart, but it's just, it's an addicting writing style that's like, you just flip the page, you just keep flipping, the next thing you know it's like 3 in the morning, that's just how it works with JLA books. So she is definitely on this list, I haven't read all of her books by any means, because she has quite a lot, and some of them are chunkers. The From Blood and Ash series, I've read the first three in the original series and the first of the prequel series so I still have like a lot to go with that and those are like 600 pages each but um I love her books and I will continue to love them till the day I die and the last author will come to no surprise if you know me Brandon Sanderson this is the um secret project edition that you got if you back to the kickstarter it's a nice leather bound I love it um, Brandon Sanderson is the king of world building to me. Like, I read the story for the worlds, for the found family, and the magic. His writing is just, he explains things so simply, but it's such complex ideas. And that's part of why I love it so much. And I also just love that he has this whole Cosmere universe where a lot of things are connected, and it's fun finding, like, little Easter eggs in each book. It's like, oh, that's from... Warbreaker how did that get here like it's like kind of like a little easter egg hunt which I really really like it's fun my brother also reads Anderson he's read more than me at this point which is insulting and I need to do better but me and him always talk about Sanderson it's just he's a great author I love his books I just I will always buy them. I have a lot more to read by him because he literally released like three or four books a year. I don't understand how this man does it and how he keeps everything straight. It is amazing to me. It will never cease to amaze me. I just, how, I'm convinced like he's a wizard or something. It's just, that's the only logical explanation, obviously. So those are six of my auto by authors that I just absolutely love. Um, let me know in the comments what some of your auto buy authors are and if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe. Bye everyone